so what is this fasta remember i told you fasta is another very popular similarity search tool okay so fasta all capital like blast is also similarity search tool and in this case also we have a query sequence we call it so word you know word every single matching word the matching word the matching word will be known as what let me write it down k tuples k tuples okay that is the matching word k tuples as neighbor word in the blast we call it as a in case of blast whenever the word is matching we call them neighbors in case of fasta if the, we are choosing word which is matching we call it k tuples okay now in this case the fasta algorithm is actually developed by lipman and pearson lipman and pearson founded this and formed this algorithm and in this case for a protein sequence what is the length that we take in query 1 to 2 amino acid long for nucleotide sequence we choose 5 to 6 nucleotides so compared to blast it's smaller in case of blast nucleotide is 11 protein 3 okay now in this case words match with the database sequence and creates diagonals so in this case the fasta uses dot plot remember the dot plot if you recall the dot plot then you'll understand what i mean if you don't uh, recall dot plot and if you haven't seen my video on dot plot please watch that video otherwise you cannot understand this okay so what it happens exactly if there is a match then the dot plot is created based on the match we what we do in the dot plots we have this x and y axis and there is match there is match there is match what we if we, if we draw a straight line and no there is no match again a match here so there is another straight line so based on the dot plot we have what we have this sequence a in uh, x axis we'll have sequence b in the y axis this is what we'll have in the dot plot here okay this is how it's done there are four steps in the process of fasta okay so first is uh, we search for identical region among the query and the database sequence identical region what we do we do a search of identical region the second thing so whenever we find the identical region they are scored they are scored with tam matrix now there are scoring system in bioinformatics there are two systems used pam matrix and blossom matrix so again you need to know what is pam matrix and blossom matrix how the scoring system works you can watch my uh, video on that the portion of lecture on that then you can understand blast uses blossom 62 but fasta uses pam matrix so the scoring is done and the best score is kept aside okay best score is kept aside then what else we have segments are joined by gap and such gapped alignment score is known as initn okay so what we'll do the blanks joined blanks will be joined by the gap and we get a gapped alignment score gapped alignment score which is not so because if there is 100% similarity we get a maximum score but we know that if there is no 100% similarity the score will be lesser than the maximum so whatever value if the gap is increasing in number the score values also decrease gap score value yeah gap score value if you consider the gap the number of gap into the value then it will increase but actually if there is a gap then the matching value number is decreasing okay and then what we do we put an algorithm known as smith waterman algorithm of local alignment based on dynamic programming is used to find out the optimal alignment so ultimately use a local